accountability, whether it's personal or, you know, through the coach that they've hired. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, And they like operating in that that unknown because, um, you know, it's comfortable for them. Right. But it doesn't help them grow or improve what they're doing. Right. right? So, you know, again, going back, if 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 you want to grow as a business. And we hope that most people that are getting into real estate have that ambition. Um, they start to understand and realize the value of, of something like a CRM and CSU in particular, right? Because to your point, um, you know, there's no hiding from the numbers, right? Data is yep. real. Um, you know, activities result in you know certain actions, and um, you know if those actions, such as closings or appointments, be before that appointment set and met, um, you know, if you're not accomplishing those actions, you know, you need to evaluate the activities that are going to lead to them, you know, and, and, you know, going beyond that, you know, with CC, you get super granular in certain um, sources, you know, you mentioned open houses versus um, circle prospecting, you know, maybe you do a lot of internet lead gen, you know, you, you start to plug in the expenses associated with those different um, activities and start to look at the closings um, and appointments attributed to those, you start to gain a much clearer perspective on, you know, what's going to drive the biggest bang for your buck and increase your your dollar per hour take home, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, again, it's it's a great perspective you're 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 painting here, Andy, and uh, I, I agree wholeheartedly. You know, you gotta you gotta know what you're doing.